if you meet someone who says, hey, I identify as a Hebrew Israelite, and you start coming at them with, oh, you believe that they may not believe that at all. They may think that's very wrong. And so you've simply got to ask them where they're at with this because they could have the bare bones Hebrew Israelite theology, meaning they buy the version of history that says if you came over here via the transatlantic slave trade, you are physical descendant from Abraham. That may be all they buy. But usually what I've noticed happens when Christians buy that, they start going down a bad path okay. and the other doctrine that follows. So it's not that it's no concern. It is a concern, but it doesn't mean they agree with all this other stuff that some of the camps like GMS would promote. What? Um, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Um, what is the interaction between the camps versus someone that's not a part of a camp. So not everyone is a part of a camp, right? Right. Um, so how does the interaction between those two different groups of people differ? I regularly listen to a podcast by IUIC. So if someone's like, I can't do all this, this is crazy, but you want to kind of like start, go on iTunes and Google Israel United in Christ, and they have a podcast, and what it is is it's essentially uh, mainly a man named Nathaniel, uh, he kind of pronounces it differently, but... Uh, his teachings that he gives broken up into podcast form. But on that, you get a good dose of at least what IUIC believes. And they're very clear, actually very well produced. So I actually enjoy most mm-hmm. of them. And on those, he regularly gives a sides, kind of little disses, specifically to non-camp affiliated Israelites. Kind of like the way maybe a pastor would speak of people who say they're Christian but never attend church. Mm-hmm. They would mm-hmm. kind of look at them in a similar way and be like, you Facebook-only Israelites out there, <laughs> I'm saying, everybody <laughs> does have an alternate name. <laughs> Almost everybody, I, hardly anybody goes Tech by their nine. real name. <laughs> and sometimes they're quite elaborate. Usually there's something Ben Israel, you know, a son of Israel is what that means. But they have different little names. And some of the camps even give themselves military titles. So General Yohanna leads the ISUPK. So every time you see an ISUPK-related media thing, like a podcast or an interview, will say, given by Captain So-and-So under the authority of Commanding Officer General Yohanna. So it's very, like, hierarchical in some of these. <laughs>